Graham, it's an obvious thing, but the, the years of waiting must have taken their toll on you. Yeah, of course. It's very difficult. David was um, my son, you know, he was 22. It was his first time ever to London, first time ever on the underground. And he found himself stood next to Siddiqui Khan. And we've had nearly four years now of no answers to lots of very important questions. The government have stonewalled everything. It's been, it's been very, very difficult and continues to be very, very difficult. From I think you're particularly angry that the government and security services did have surveillance on the London bombers but didn't act. That's something that really grates with you for obvious reasons. We were told at the time by the government that um, the four bombers were clean skins. They were completely unknown to the intelligence services that the attack had come out of the blue and therefore there was no way to stop it. But the evidence in this trial, that's been presented in this trial, proves that to be completely untrue. The security service had a, a huge file on Mohammed Siddiqui Khan, and I can go into that chapter and verse, um, about how he'd been to Pakistan repeatedly, how he'd been to Cumbria, how he'd been to North Wales. The police, uh, the intelligence community had this huge file, so I say, the fact that their job is to collect the information, is to collate it, is to analyse it and to act. That didn't happen and my son died, so that needs to be looked into. Can, can I ask you that this next stage for you then, an independent inquiry, yes. not a public inquiry, no. an independent inquiry yes. is vital for you? Well, it, it, it's very important for me and, and the, other, the other members of the families, but the systems and the processes that were in place then, which patently failed to prevent the bombers, are still the same systems and processes that are in place now. And the government have chosen to maintain that status quo. And I, I think that's really worrying. And it's also important that we find out why the government told such untruths. Graham, thank you very much indeed.